to a brand new vlog. Welcome to Autism Royalty Family. So for today's video, I told you guys I was gonna do a little update on my six months post-op lipo 360. Um, I have not done it because I haven't had the chance to, but you guys have been seeing me in the vlogs. Of course, I don't show my full body and I'm always wearing like loose t-shirts um, and you guys can see the full deal. As you guys could see right now, I'm wearing the long sleeve faja, which I wear it in the beginning stage of my surgery. Like I said, I am a little bit over six months today um, post-op. So I wanna show you guys how my body looks like with a faja, cause at this point I'm not really wearing the faja anymore because obviously you know the faja is for like the first 60 days, you know strictly you can remove it and so on, which I did follow the rules. I was wearing the faja for like the first 60 days 24 hours I would sleep with it and everything guys I did follow directions um I just haven't been wearing it because it was difficult for me because it's very hot in Bakersfield so it was so hard for me to keep it on while I was running errands and stuff because I didn't want to have the faja on it was super hot and I would get like hot and annoyed frustrated you know with the compression and so on whatever what i'm wearing right now is a large it's a it's already a lot loose i just put it on to actually make the video and do an after for tiktok really quickly i have a medium from before um that doesn't have sleeve so that one fits me actually pretty good and i look skinnier with the medium so i'm about to get only the bra the bra with the sleeves um so i won't have to buy like a full body with the sleeves Faja all over again since I already have a medium. I could just wear the one I have which is this same type of material right here guys But it's a medium and it doesn't have the sleeves So anyways guys, I'm not really that strict anymore because the faja is like to mold your body I am already I'm already curvy as it is. I didn't get the surgery to To make my curves any other way or anything. I actually removed because I had a lot of of you know i was really wide you could say and i had a lot of like back fat type of deal so they kind of shaped my body that's what the lipo 360 is for um so like whoever thinks like oh she got a bbl this and i've always had a big butt a wide load if you guys know me since before so it's not a big deal like you know I, I mean, I don't sit here and explain to everybody, but whoever didn't know me is like, oh, show it off. I'm like, I've always had a big butt, <laughs> you know? But um, yeah, guys, um, I actually reduced, reduced, you know, my, my curves because they were just like outrageous. It was just too much for me. You guys, if you guys saw in the previous video, I show you guys my before. For Alize Sweets 16, I didn't have like anything done except for my boobs, that's it. My butt was already huge. So yeah, guys, with that being said, if you're not yet subscribed to Autism Royalty Family, make sure to do so. Hit that big thumbs up, the bell notification to get notified every time we upload a brand new video. So I'm going to show you guys in the mirror because I can't, if I angle it like this, it's going to look different, guys. So I'm going to go to the hallway mirror right here and show you guys kind of like what, I, what I'm looking like at six months post-op. So as you guys could see, I'm wearing some slacks shorts on the top just because you know the faja doesn't this one doesn't have a zipper so i put some shorts on, and i actually put the sports bra on top of the faja just because if i put it under the faja my boobs are going to be like up here so this is kind of what i look i'll show you guys the back portion of it as well guys i'm still a little wide and stuff but as you guys can see my stomach's pretty flat I just need a workout to like tighten up the body. I was doing so good on, on my workouts and stuff, but I haven't been because of my breathing issue I had going on. But look, this is what it looks. And then I'll show you guys, I'll add it to this vlog, um, how I look with clothes without the faja. Cause honestly, I haven't really been wearing the faja anymore, to be honest with you. Um, whatever curves you guys see is without the faja and my body's already shaped like that so you know the the faja is to like literally shape your body as you want it to like right after surgery but like I said I removed so I you know it's a big help you know the compression and all that I did use it for the 60 days but I haven't really been using the faja I'm just gonna like kind of waist train and maybe get the bra faja that hugs my arms as well because I did get the lipo also on my arms 
um, and I haven't been wearing any type of compression in the arms. So I really feel that I need to change it up because I was doing nothing but cardio at my own pace. I think I need to like start lifting little by little, you know, not that heavy, but to, to the point, you know, to just tighten up my own body. So I'll keep you guys updated on that, but I wanted you guys to see my body because every time you guys see me in vlogs, I'm wearing a t-shirt and if I'm sitting down in the car, obviously, you know, todo se nos hace lonjita. But I mean, not that big because I've never been like really panzona with lonjas or anything like that. Um, but obviously, si te sientas, se te va a hacer poquito. And you know, the, the sweaters, they have the zipper and it folds, you know, and, and whatever you see, you know, it might not be it. So that's why I wanted to show you guys with the faja and I'm gonna show you guys just with regular clothes without the faja, which you guys have probably been seeing pictures like on Instagram with like crop tops, that's actually my stomach um with without a faja and actually without faja so so yeah guys i'll go ahead and blog um i'm not sure if today or you know another day but i'll go ahead and add it to this video you know like an outfit o otd without the faja so you guys can see my, how my body looks like at six months post-op of a lipo 360. Okay, so it is the next day um I have the different faja and just to give you guys an idea um this is an old faja I had from previously um it is a Colombian faja that's all I wear Colombian fajas because those work the best so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how my body looks with the medium faja again that large faja you guys saw me previously earlier on this video it's the one with sleeve and that's the one I wear right after surgery um, for the 60 days, which was a large, but obviously you guys saw me earlier. My body looks thin out, but it does not compress anymore. It's already loose. So this medium one, it's only, it, it doesn't have the sleeves. Um, it's just like the other one, but without the sleeves, guys, this is how it looks. I'm going to show you guys in the mirror so you guys can get a better idea. Um, this is how it looks, guys. I feel that I look way, way skinnier with the medium just because it compresses a little bit more but believe it or not i think i even fit into um small now because this medium is already stretched out so look at this guys i feel that this one plumps up my butt a little bit more because it compresses a little bit more but like i said it's still you know it's already loose on me so this is how it looks from the back from the back guys this is how it looks i hope you guys are getting like good angles this is how it looks from the back excuse my hairy legs i did not shave no shave november guys so um yeah i just put on these fajas to show you guys give you guys an idea you know and you know talk a little bit about my six months post-op um, i haven't been working out right now because you know i was having that breathing issue i'm um, due to my allergies and so on valley fever came back negative which is a good thing but um i should get be getting back on it like i mentioned previously um i was just doing you know like at my own pace just cardio and the elliptical sometimes the treadmill but right now at this point um i don't think I mean, it's not that I don't want to, but I don't think I should more, lose more weight. It's more like tying up the body in the areas that I got lipo 360, guys. It was all around, you guys know what areas the lipo 6, 360 covers. Um, it also included the arms, and I feel that my arms are a little bit wobbly right now in the inner of my thighs. I also feel like a little bit like wobbly, like in this area right here. Excuse me, I have my phone and then obviously not the outer but still i want to work out like do my own way like willie said that way i can tighten up like the like the whole legs arms as well and also um i need to you know work a little bit on my belly i do have a little itty bitty waist guys you can't really tell because i'm always wearing like loose shirts and stuff but my waist is really small um believe it or not comparing to the rest of my body obviously my waist is tiny of course you know cuando nos sentamos a todos no, se nos sale longita that's only normal but i've always had a smaller waist um that's never been really an area of concern but of course every girl wants a flat belly right i have four kids guys and i didn't need like a full tummy tuck i didn't need a full tummy tuck or anything like that um i just did the lipo 360 this time 
around so this is how my body is looking i hope you guys really really like and enjoy this video and i'll probably add on here um me which you guys probably saw on instagram i have like the recent photos i have are without the faja guys so that's how my body actually looks without the faja um you know my belly is pretty flat if you guys want to head to my instagram is miss dot i garcia i'll put it right here down below and also it's always linked in the description below along with the girls channels and you know everyone's social medias go ahead and give them a visit i'm gonna go ahead and record myself a little bit if not this would be the end of the video if you guys have any questions make sure to comment down below or private message me on instagram i'll make sure to answer those and i hope this video was helpful six months post up again so this is how i look again and i'm gonna go ahead and record myself a little bit i'm like i said you know i have been posting without the faja on instagram you know and my belly is pretty flat and if you guys can stop telling the tiktok and reel i posted on instagram and tiktok um it's miss i garcia miss dot i garcia on instagram and tiktok and you guys could see my before guys like i've always had a big booty but i did have a little bit of love handles you know that was i was probably able to diet and stuff but i wanted to go the easy route um but i had a little love handles already and stuff like that aside from like the rest of the body i got a little help there to make the waist smaller um with the lipo 360 and i did gain some weight during the quarantine so that that's how i look like before the lipo 360 that's why i did a transition where you know before the lipo 360 and after the lipo 360 guys so i hope you guys really really enjoyed the results and i'll go ahead and close out the video in just a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and put on some clothes i have another faja that i actually wear like under if it's a dress or a jumpsuit um that it only covers like from here to the knee area i'll probably give that one a try and also add it in this video just so you guys can have an idea how my body looks like with like different types of fajas and without all right guys so um i went ahead and changed faja um this is my ootd of the day um i have worn this dress previously for a birthday party i believe it was but i did not take pictures which i always tend to do that but anyways guys i'll show you guys how it looks and i'll also show you guys what type of faja i'm wearing for this type of dress i'm not wearing a bra and let me give you guys a little glimpse okay it opens up from the back here so i'm wearing the faja that goes from here to here it's it's a a faja specifically for dresses guys this is how it looks from the back really really pretty i'm not i don't have my shoes on yet guys i'm wearing the croquis yeah but this is how the body looks with the dress faja guys you can't it's seamless you can't even tell that's how it looks um you know with the dress faja this is another type of faja as well i have like a literally a collection of fajas guys all colombian fajas um but i wanted to mention to you guys you know each type of faja i wear for different types of occasions and you know dresses or even jeans i used to wear faja under the jeans but right now i'm like at the point that no aguanto las fajas um but again you know the fajas is to mold the body i feel that my body is already molded i just need to maintain and tighten up the areas where i got the lipo 360 and i should be good guys but i've been maintaining pretty good i actually lost 20 pounds since my surgery which i'm happy about that and it's only been six months guys i was doing good with my workouts only the elliptical and the treadmill at my own pace but then you know i got sick and i stopped but right now i feel that i stayed the same but i haven't lost any more weight aside from the 20 pounds that i've lost since the surgery again six months post-op i hope you guys really really liked and enjoyed this video we will be back with more um and again if you guys have any questions make sure to comment down below or go to my instagram or tiktok and make sure you leave me a private message and i'll go ahead and you know be happy to answer any questions you may have i'll probably make an updated video at one year but as for now you guys can be seeing my results and stuff i'll be posting more often on the gram pictures little videos on tiktok pictures on instagram and so on 
Um, but yeah, guys, um, so far I am loving my results and you know, we'll just, we just need to keep this content going and yeah, guys, all the links are in the description below. Make sure to give everyone a follow and we will be back with more videos.